Hi Janelle here with She Pill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to dry jalapenos. I'm going to slice them up, use a dehydrator, and what you get is let me get a good one. A little, little dried pepper, still super spicy, really good on your dishes afterwards but it's a good way to save all those abundance of jalapenos that just build up in the garden you don't want to throw them out you could pickle them but I feel like you can preserve more of the natural goodness by drying so let me show you how okay so I have my peppers here and what I want to do is slice them into uniform slices I don't want to make them too skinny boy um, quarter of an inch is probably what I have cut here because they are going to shrink quite a bit. You're going to end up with something like this when it's all dried. And I keep the seeds intact because I do want the spiciness of the seeds. So let me slice up some of these peppers. Here we have a nice pile of uniform peppers. I'm just going to put it inside my dehydrator. I use a Ninja and this is not just a dehydrator, it's like a cooker and a, it, it, it bakes, it does slow cooking, searing, steaming, but I only use it for dehydration. Um, I used to have a regular dehydrator, but I was given this as a gift, it's a, also an air fryer. Um, but I really like to dry my herbs and other things in here. So. Just gonna finish cutting, putting all my peppers inside the Ninja here. So I do about like one layer at a time. Like I don't wanna put too much in. Uh, so let's turn this on. The Ninja is super simple. Just press power and then dehydrate and then start. And so it goes, it goes six hours is what it'll start at now. I'm not gonna just let it run six hours. I'm going to keep checking to see if the peppers are dry. And I'll show you, I'll show you the progress and how you know if they are dry. After 45 minutes, you can see the peppers are star, just starting to dry. And I have a few in there that were cut a little thinner and they're even more noticeably dry, but we're gonna let this continue running. Okay, so here we are, almost three hours in. We're getting closer. <laughs> they have to be crispy. We don't want them to be squishy, and I see one down there that looks like it was cut too thick, but um, we're gonna keep going. We don't wanna over dry. You wanna have them crack when you break them. So here is the finished version. I had this in the refrigerator so you can see some condensation, but I was a little concerned a few pieces might not be totally dry because they were cut a little bit thicker. So I put them in the fridge. If you are certain everything is totally dried, you can keep them in the cupboard. But for the most part, they seem great and I can just use them, chop them up and use them as I would hot. I mean fresh, and they are super hot and spicy still. <laughs> Try to do that one-handed. <laughs> jalapeno. So jalapeno along with sweet peppers and cayenne peppers are part of the Capiscum anum species. The term chili is derived from the Aztec language. Chilies or chili peppers vary greatly in size, shape, color, and taste. They range from mild to pungent to extremely hot. In the United States, the heat of chilies is determined by a system of measurements. Uh, it was devised in 1912 called the Scoville Heat Units. This scale refers to the number of times dissolved chili extracts can be diluted with sugar water before the capace, capsaicin sorry capsaicin can no longer be tasted mild sweet pepper score zero jalapeno is rated at a 2500 to 5000 
Tabasco and cayenne are usually 30 to 50,000. Habaneros are 100 to 300,000 Scoville units. So hot peppers, especially cayenne and jalapeno, help to stimulate digestive secretions and digestive juices. It, they help to prevent infections in the digestive system, like gar, uh, a lot like garlic does, that heat, that spice. A pinch of cayenne pepper is excellent in gargles for sore throats and likewise Jalapeno could be used that way too. Hot peppers are warming. They're stimulant. They help the circulatory system. They help our circulatory system. Heat is good when we're chilled. So if you have um, a chilling cold, you might want to add a pinch of hot pepper to your tea. They are analgesic, so there's hot peppers <laughs> extracts in some of our topical ointments. Cayenne and likewise jalapeno can simulate uh, an increased blood flow to the skin. They relieve muscle spasms, help expel gas. And again, stimulate the circulatory system and just stimulate organs in general. It's like a kickstart. So besides being super, super tasty on our food, there is a purpose and a use for our hot peppers. And I think that they're even more needed in the winter time. So if you have an abundance in your garden, get them, dry them, cut them, dry them, and save them for this coming cold season. Thanks.